Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode we are going to be talking about the TIHK Urban Survival Evade Clip. So stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Now, um, I'm just gonna be right up front with you guys and say I'm pretty pissed off about this product. Um, this was a pre-order and I know I've had since my video yesterday uh, went up, or sorry, my video earlier today went up, which was my everyday carry video where I showcased me going to be carrying and experimenting with this clip came in. A lot of people were like, wow, I've been waiting months for mine and I still haven't gotten mine in, yada, yada, yada. Well, here's the thing. Two things I had to hound them pretty hardcore to get this thing in. And I know a lot of people are still waiting on theirs, but what pisses me off is this is not as advertised. Now, for people who may be watching this a few days later, oh, don't mind my hands, I've been working at the forge all day. Um, this is not sold as advertised. This does not. This is not what it looks like on the advertisement. And I'm gonna be rolling through some screenshots and clips and let you guys check that out. That is the first thing that pissed me off because the tools that they show on the website are far more robust and it appears to be a much better build with what looks like to be machined aluminum, metal clips, thicker, stronger, more sturdy hardware. And when I'm about to open this up, you're gonna see you kind of get gypped. Diving into this, we see the plastic is, com the, the clip is and the case is completely plastic and Right here is the most concerning part right here is that is what secures the pivots for all those tools that I'm about to open up is just this little Y thing. So that means there could be some really strong degradation in quality because it's not using the Swiss Army style anymore. So we'll go ahead and open this up right in front of you guys so you can see this. Now I know you guys saw some of those screenshots. So this is why I'm a little aggravated because this is like 40 bucks with shipping. Yeah, this little tiny guy is 40 bucks with shipping. So these are the tools that come with it, not what they advertised. Um, well, the uh, this piece right there, it looks pretty similar. And the lock picking is pretty similar, but the saw went really, really chintzy. And they were talking about how it was heat treated steel and yada, yada, yada. And they were saying it was really nice. And well, here's the thing. One, look at that. It's, look at that. That is how it came. I haven't messed with it at all. I have to actually go through and try to get everything separated. And it, there's, there's, it's just really cheaply done. That U right there is a lot of concern because what's holding it is plastic. Plastic. An urban survival escape and evasion tool made it out of plastic for $40. I wouldn't trust my life to this just off the construction. Then, so this is the saw that's supposed to help you break down the walls and escape to freedom. Really? I have literally had bigger toothpicks. That's horrible. And they said it's heat treated. Are you kidding me? So two things off the bat is they charge you a lot of money for this tool. They say that it's heat treated, so it doesn't come as designed as it's advertised on the website. It's made much, much cheaper than what is advertised. And this stuff is not heat treated. <laughs> I work with steel all day long. I know what heat treated steel looks like. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll test this theory. What, what the hell? Are you serious? Wow. I, I, I have nothing. No, no, I'm out. Whew. Okay, yeah. So after uh, cursing off camera, nah, I'm pissed. THK, if you're watching this, I want my money back. This is absolute crap. How dare you try to go swindle people for freaking almost $40 and make people wait forever for this. I've seen Walmart make better stuff than this. You said you're special, uh, you, know, you work special operations and you have, you know, you're on the edge of technology. Well, um, yeah, on the edge of really crappy technology. So I apologize that I had to get a little bit of ranting, but a lot of people were asking me why I never showcase 
things I don't like and typically I wanted to like this and I was really excited it came in but as soon as I got to touch it I haven't even been able to take this out and use it. This thing has literally came out of the package, came out of the box and I'm showing it to you right now and that is the quality I'm messing with. So please let this stand as a warning as this design stands unless they reach out to me and oh by the way I paid for this myself. This is not a sponsored video. Don't think that I'm doing this and I'm having to kiss anybody's butt. But um, if you're going to try to sell me USA made stuff, which this is clearly, this clear quality is not made in the USA. There's no way any manufacturer that I can imagine that would take themselves seriously would sell that and manufacture it in the US. But uh, that just about does it. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.